hope it's not just about ranting and all that. And then the next thing he runs back to Ghana because, bro, a lot of things are not functioning in Nigeria. And oil price being cheap is not enough reason for you to think Nigeria is better than Ghana. It's not. There are so many other things to consider. So this man, because he has a wife and he has kids, so he has been able to live abroad without coming to Ghana for that long. And I like the fact that this is how Ghanaians are trending in Nigeria. It's always for the positive reasons. So what's up beautiful people? I am back again with another reaction video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new and you have not subscribed, do wait to hit the subscription button. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that anytime I upload a video, YouTube will notify you. The truth is, over the past few weeks, Ghanaians have been trending on on the Nigerian social media space and it's time for me to give my thought on this for good reasons though and of course for consoling reasons I'm going to start with the consoling reasons so this consoling reason is the reason I said I'm finally gonna become a Ghanaian because a Ghanaian is about to to become a Nigerian and I cannot wait to take his position because I mean this passport is one that we are all looking for. So me too, if it comes to me on a platter of gold, I will take it. So someone is about to become a Nigerian and I felt like coming here to announce it is good for me. Coming to tell everybody not to try to take that position because I want it. I want to replace him in Ghana while he takes my position in Nigeria. I can even change my name to his name. I don't mind bearing Kwame, Kweku, Kofi, Kwabena, name them. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind bearing the Ghanaian male's name I will find a way to do it just to become a Ghanaian citizen at least so that this particular one will not waste because he is about to become a Nigerian and I'm happy for him today's video of a Ghanaian man that I stumbled on on this on the Nigerian social media space and this guy is praising Nigeria and saying that let me play the video anyway and I'll be back keep watching let's go yeah guys, as you can see right now guys, look at where I'm standing. I'm currently on the Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge in Lagos. Can you see that? This is the Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge in Lagos, guys. Lekki Ikoyi Link Bridge in Lagos. Today I have something to say. See, Ghana, eh, when we are talking about Ghana, you people shouldn't think we are just doing politics. I've been in Nigeria for two days. And guys, let me tell you something. The current fuel price in Nigeria is 640 Naira, which when you go to Ghana is 60 to 40 pesos. But we are paying 13 CDs for one liter of fuel in Ghana. And you guys don't want us to talk about it. Even Nigeria paying 60 to 40 pesos for fuel in Nigeria, Nigerians are complaining that they need reduction of their fuel price. Ghana, we are paying 13 CDs, which is equivalent to 1,300 Naira for one liter of fuel. And you guys don't want us to talk about it. When we talk about it, it will be a problem. That's why I tell all of you that I have nothing to say. Me, I won't say anything. I'm now at the Lagos Ikoyi Link Bridge. Can you see that? Very beautiful view. Bye bye. Mm, see, see, don't get me wrong. It's good. Justice for Nigeria at last. Nigeria also have people. I'm glad to see that Nigeria also has people that, that finds her attractive, that finds that finds something good about Nigeria, that wishes to be a Nigerian. It's good because it has always been the other way around. It has always been Ghana snatching every Nigerian that comes to Ghana and those that are able to move to Ghana. Ghana have come completely taking them away like the land will show you milk and honey show you so much love that you'll be like you are in abroad a lot of us have made ghana our canada and that has made some nigerians feel left out especially nigerians with terrible attitude so it's good that they finally have a brother it's good to finally you know at least out of the many Ghanaians that have visited Nigeria, this particular one, he sees something good about Nigeria. So I'm happy. Congratulations to them especially. And to me too, as I'm about to take his place in Ghana and become a citizen of Ghana. Now, I have my opinion to give on that. Maybe I should do this before we move to another video that I want to react to that is trending on the Nigerian social media space. I mean, a video of a Ghanaian man and his family that is trending 
trending day but let's just finish up with this before we move to that one now this guy if you ask my opinion of him i think he's just you know in life you are what you believe you are in life your actions are a reflection of your inner being that is what i believe so if you go to nigeria and you love it there it's totally good it means that that is where you are supposed to be and not in ghana so if you come to ghana and you love it here just come and live here and be like me momo for loving that is how it is and i like this guy because he came clean and say oh fuel in nigeria is sold for but in ghana is not like that it's a lot higher yes the cheaper nigeria is for you to live in the more difficult it is for you to make anything out of the country but of course what do i know if he's an expert is of course maybe it's going to be a different case for him and the truth is this my brother is yet to integrate into the system to get to understand how things work in nigeria the price of fuel in nigeria may be cheap but nigeria is not the easiest place to live in and just genuinely be happy except of course if your luck is there the truth is living in nigeria is cheap okay don't get him wrong living in nigeria is quite cheap and but what i don't understand is why i we that are from there running away from the same country that has the cheapest oil price in the world why are we running and i feel like it's only a matter of time this our bros run back and come back to meet us here in ghana that is if i have not already taken his place and take ownership of his ghana passport and become a ghanaian while he becomes a nigerian there's something he said that i wish to correct if you are a ghanaian and you are in the habit of shutting your people down i think you should calm down allow people to express themselves because in the video this guy is saying you people will not allow us to talk when we want to talk so if if people are hearing out their opinion i think it's fair to leave them because the more you try to silence people the more you push them i wasn't like this where i can see sit down and talk about everything until i was pushed and some of the times when people throw you stones you will gather them now look at it this way when people throw you stones especially when you have not really done something that warrants that people throw you stones you pick them you pick them you pick them as you pick them it's not everyone that picks the stone that will throw the stones away some people will pick them and use it to throw at you so if you are in the habit of shutting other citizens down from speaking out their hearts from pouring out their frustration or whatever it's something that we need to stop allow them to vent their anger it doesn't mean anything vent and move on again is is their human right as human to do so now let's move to the good part that is not a bad part actually if this guy enjoys living in nigeria but i hope it's not just about ranting and all that and then the next thing he runs back to ghana because bro a lot of things are not functioning in nigeria and oil price being cheap is not enough reason for you to think nigeria is better than ghana it's not there are so many other things to consider before you make your final conclusion but who am i what do i know continue my brother and i hope that you enjoy your stay in nigeria now let's move to this family of a ghanaian man that based abroad who have been sending money to ghana to have a house built for him and throughout this period of i mean throughout the period of building that house he has never been to ghana he has never visited ghana he has just been concentrating on work but he has been sending money to his to his brother to help him build a house and the guy presented him with this let's watch this video and i'll be back yes. got you this is for my family wow 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 we are actually in here how you feeling my king glory be to god you got him in the way <laughs> yeah, the fan that hurt. You can. This is your room. You can do whatever you want to do. We love it. My kids are taking. Malika to took her socks off and everything. No. We're going into the master bedroom now. To be in the foyer. Yeah, just so y'all know. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> my brother stood for us. Stood here. He's been here from the beginning, from 20, 2012. He's been building. 
And look at what we came home to. Look at my bedroom. Look at my room. It has a kitchen in it. Look at my TV. There's my, of course, we can watch everything. Oh, my gosh. My husband. Sexy. You did this? Glory be to God, inshallah. I mean, I mean, hallelujah. Look at my bathroom. Look at my bathroom. Wow. It is elegant. Very gorgeous. I can't wait to take a bath. God knows. I need to take a bath. We've been on this baby. Automatic. Yes. Love it. Come on. That's your pool, Maliha. Built it for you and Nasir to have whatever way y'all want in there. That's the, Mama? Right, you ready to swim, Nasir? Come on, let's go. Daddy's in there in the center. Yeah. This is us. God is so good. Italy, look at what God did. My king, look at what you built. Look what God used you to do. It's absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, God did this. I'm even like, I'm at a loss for words. Yes, he did. Maliha trying to get in that water, baby. Come on, my king. Italy, you got the video from here? Look, we have to pass through the foyer, okay? Yes, we will. We're going through the back. This daddy, my husband, care about this kitchen like crazy. Let's see. Wow, oh my God. Look at my kitchen. Whoa. Glory be to God. Baby, knock on it, baby. You already know. Yes. Wow. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. I tell you, America is in Ghana, okay? <laughs> All right, my husband, Italy, I'm going to turn mine off so you can film. And I like the fact that this is how Ghanaians are trending in Nigeria. It's always for the positive reasons. It's very hard to see a Ghanaian in the news for the wrong reasons. You may see a Ghanaian in the news criticizing their government. You may see a Ghanaian in the news basically doing what this guy is doing, like positive news. But it's not that common to see Ghanaian trending for wrong reasons. Maybe like they did this, they murdered, they robbed this and all that are mean in other people's country. And this has really made them look good myself i was proud when i saw this video on linda cages uh, when i saw this video on linda's space i was like oh wow i was proud of him and at the comment section i could see people saying ah if not nigeria hey you're not gonna be like this now thank god oh this is ghana oh this can only happen in ghana not in nigeria because here the guy and his wife that very night they came back if they want to demand for the house to see the house they won't wake up the following day and all that. i'm like oh wow damn it is it this bad i can't say what they are saying because i left nigeria and i don't know if what they are saying is true but feel free to let me know down there at the comment section if what these Nigerians are saying is true that if it's in Nigeria this wouldn't have been possible don't forget to comment down there at the comment section let me know let me hear your opinion on this do you think that Nigerians sometimes sometimes judges other Nigerians based on our movies or what because see sometimes we like it or not our movies are a reflection of ourselves in that country is a reflection of our society for instance i have never been to india but I have this mindset about indians i feel like oh they are all about love and marriage and that they are so good in loving and their spiritual life and all that because this is what the movies are projecting so for many people to believe that oh if he's a nigerian he won't build this this is only happening because it's ghanaian i think it has a lot to do with our movies and i think that correcting the impression of a country begins from there because so many of our nollywood movies are not being censored especially now in fact it has always been like that even i wanted to say now this social media era but i realized that it has always been like that you know end of money you know i don't know if you watch all these movies where you will see almost every movie in all the movies you see oh kanayo kanayo clem ohaneze pete edoche and the rest are into one occult or the other and constantly there's this 
exporting of these movies to other African countries and it tell our stories to people that don't even know us before so let me know if you think that nigeria rebranding should begin from nollywood because i mean nollywood sells out nollywood is one of the most popular entertainment industry in africa and you know how influential that can be and you know what that means that means that they get to tell our stories our stories are popular and many of the times people judge nigerians based on the movies i don't know if what i'm saying is correct whatever what do you think about this Ghanaian man and what do you think about what Nigerians are saying? I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with another one. Bye.